We begin tonight with jobs, an issue important to Wall Street, to Main Street, and of course to Washington. Today we learned that the economy created 156,000 of them in September, with the unemployment rate ticking higher to 5%. But the monthly report was a bit puzzling. Some liked the number, calling it solid. Others described it as disappointing and lackluster. And some just said it was modest. But what does the Fed think of this latest number? Hampton Pearson takes a look. In September, job growth slowed for a third straight month. From a revised high of 252,000 jobs in July, a big drop to just 167,000 in August, and an even further slide, with employers adding just 156,000 new workers last month. Good-paying professional and business service jobs led the way with 67,000 new hires. Hourly wages, now just under $26 an hour, are up 2.6 percent year over year and are showing signs of accelerating. Today, Fed Vice Chair Stanley Fisher said today's jobs report was pretty close to Goldilocks. What it did today, the participation rate went up, the unemployment rate uh, went up. Those two things are fine. It means employment was going at a rate that uh, is fully consistent with keeping unemployment declining uh, somewhat further. More than 440,000 Americans did come back into the job market last month, but only about 95,000 got hired, triggering an uptick in the unemployment rate to 5%. Leading economists point out that it's the slack in the labor market Fed Chair Janet Yellen has cited as a reason to hold off on raising interest rates. This recovery has more room to run, especially when there's no hint of inflation yet. It does not appear today's jobs report has moved the needle as far as the debate inside the Fed on the timing for raising rates. Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester says the slowdown in job growth does not mean monetary policymakers should wait. I see that the inflation measures are moving up. We have to be forward looking. So in terms of our two goals, monetary policy goals, I think we're it takes, you know, it makes sense to move up the rate another 25 basis points. This is the last jobs report before the Fed's next policy meeting in early November. Investors say today's weaker than expected report decreases the likelihood of a rate hike just one week before the presidential election. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Hampton Pearson in Washington.